Mr. Addressed in Stone. So according to you, America's through. America's through. We, Done. Uh, Over with. Is there any way that we can save America? The greatest American alive. My personal opinion that the black man can save America. Do you think it's possible? It's like everybody got an asshole, right? You can wish it, you can hope for it, but just look at <laughs> this guy. Just um, economically wise, uh, social wise, you can see the disconnect. You can see where it's heading down a, a crazy path of of nothing but destruction. And on a on an economically level, if you play the game, if if America's playing the game like how we see it, you could tell that the the scriptures is adding up. So based on prophecy, America is doomed. Yes. It's my personal opinion that the black man can save America. I think that we can save America by doing what? By telling the truth. About tell the truth and get some power. I think that if the human person works together, uses their thoughts, that we can change this whole situation. We can change the trajectory of America. What are we telling the truth about? That just happens. People do bad things all the time. Right. And depending on who you are, man, Genghis Khan killed 10% of the world population. Mm -hmm. It just happens. Whoever has power, they go to war. When they go to war, they wage war on other nations, and other nations get destroyed. This is, this is life. My thing is, they should be held accountable for that, right? By, no, by no, whom? By whom? Yes. I would say a, a righteous power structure. Righteousness depends on who holds the power. Right. That's a big thing. Like if I got the gun and you ain't got no gun, you think that I'm you think I'm a bully. It depends on if you're doing bullyish ways. Nigga, you just mad because I got a gun. So I got I got I sort of have muscles. People look at me and be like, oh my goodness, he might be a bully. They look at you as an intimidating presence when you have any type of power. And people who don't have no power, they always try to rebel. So you saying saving America? Can a black man save America? Can the black man save America? So who is America ran by though? Because who Whoever America is run by, you think they're going to let the black man save it? They've been they've been doing whatever they're doing anyway. The whole world is based on stories. If you tell a beautiful story, they will respond to a beautiful story. If if you the person who holds the pen, they control history. Right. So so who who controls history right now? The person who tells the best story possible. Best story possible. What is that story today? Right now, I think America is the most best place on earth. And I'm biased because I live here. And I don't, I can look at all the transgressions from all the nations. We can start from, from the beginning of time. Mm -hmm. People go to war. That's what human beings do. Right. And if we don't expect to go to war and we think that the most powerful people are always the bad people. And I'm saying that that's not the case. So what are we saving America from? Who, who messed up America? Now we have to say, can this place be saved? In my opinion, whoever started this place messed it up. So my thing is, they're still in the power seat. And I, I, don't, I don't believe those people who started this place is going to just let the so-called black man save this place. Life is all about evolution. We evolve, language evolves, and I think the way that we interact with each other should also involve, evolve. Yeah, but it's today, right? Right. We ain't seeing none of that. So how long you think this place... I mean, and don't get me wrong... Again, this is a nice thing to get along with everything. Right? right. But history shows you that's not possible. I'm not naive. I know that people are going to continue to go to war, but I think that you should put forth the effort to save this thing. I mean, there's so many wonderful things that happen in America. People tell beautiful stories. When you look at the news, the news does not tell you the beautiful stories that happen. They tell you the bad things that happen. And I think that's the disconnect in the world. All we want to do is report on bad things. And I want to report on some good things. So how can we overthrow that? How are we going to make them tell the good stuff? And it seems like when they tell the good stuff, it's about a little cat being rescued. Not saying that that's not good, but real good things that, that we do, man, black man. As a, as a black man in America, I come and I tell you that you are the greatest American alive. And I think that gives you absolute power.